Hello, Dan what of Games. Bucket. Okay, I, I feel like, you think firstly, we're very impressive. Secondly, we've played Bucket of Doom before. Did you call them buckets then? Buckets. But they're still buckets. Thirdly, <laughs> if you're calling the audience buckets, buckets, what are you saying? Buckets of joy, mate. I, if I were you, I'd be offended. Welcome anyway, to we're double deniming right now. We're double deniming. We're double deniming. Denim We're bros. like full Justin Timberlake, Britney Spears, I don't think goth Britney Spears, you're Justin Timberlake. <laughs> we are playing Bucket of Doom, which is the game where you are put in some kind of zany situation and you have to use a random item oh my to get out of the situation. For example, Phil, right now I'm about to punch you in the Face, Don't punch me in the face. Using, pick using one. Pick one. Harry Go. Potter's owl Hedwig. I just send it at your face. He claws your eyes out. Jobs are good and nice. Go away, Dan. But we are playing it with a twist. Thanks to Crunchyroll who has to fill our chairs. Oh yeah. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Here we go. Are you ready? With, with a, a twist. twist. Really hurt my arm. Oh. Sorry. Crunchyroll have challenged us to do Bucket of Doom. But anime themed. With anime themed dilemmas. So because there's new seasons of all of our favourite animes coming out, we have come up with a series of uh, challenging situations yeah. themed on our favourite animes that we have to try and get out of. So if you're a fan of any of these shows, we're probably going to ruin that for you. If you want to watch all of the shows that we're going to yes. be talking about on Crunchyroll, on My your help. phone, your laptop, on your set whatever. Box, whatever it is. We are giving away a 30-day free trial to Crunchyroll. Yes. You need to go to crunchyroll.com forward slash Dan and Phil games and then you get a month of free anime. Straight from Japan, all the best series in your eyes. And the first scenario is based on everyone's favourite, Vor Propaganda show that's offensive, Attack on Titan. Season three is here. Which is finally out. I'm so excited. Oh He's ready. Yeah. And the scenario is, Phil, you are stuck up a tree and a giant naked man-eating titan is going to eat you. Oh my gosh. How do we get out of this? I've got the perfect I one. I have a very random selection of things right now. Oh, I've got two things I could use. <laughs> I want you to go first. Okay. Well, I'm going to get away from the titan using... My home pregnancy test. What? That is right. How? I had one of these. I peed on it earlier. I'm up a tree. This thing's making eye contact with me. It's like, yeah. And I'm like, Jeff, <laughs> I'm pregnant. It's you. It's really? you. We're having a baby. Really? We're having a baby. And then the title will just be like, oh, ah, ah. And then it will it will put me on its shoulder and it'll run up to all the other titans and it'll say the good news. No. And then I don't know how. Myself, a male, and this other giant That's what I was about man to say. will have conceived a baby, but this is the kind of empreg plot twist Damn. that everyone wants. So everyone will be happy for us, and not only will it get me out of the tree, but it'll unite the man eating titans with the rest of humanity, and everyone lives happily ever after. Whatever. Love. Titans don't have reproductive True organs, what do first you know? of all. What do you know? Secondly, you're the a show man. is full of mysteries. Right. Well. I'm up the tree, yeah. and the titan's about to eat me when I jump on my well, electric right. mobility scooter, <laughs> and I- You are up a tree! No. You are up a tree! Yeah, I jumped down onto my scooter! Oh, okay, right, so you There's, jumped I'm... off a tree onto a mobility scooter, yeah, and, a, a and a 20 meter tall man. How fast is this mobility scooter? It's full power. I'll let it's you- the best full power. Okay, right, yeah, well, Anyway, I'm... land on the scooter, jet off into the sunset, and live on an island, and have a great day. Okay, yeah, there we go. Uh, honestly, honestly, what is the best? you. After what I just did, you honestly think that yours was Fine, better? You can, yours was more Thank creative. You, you can you. have it. Mine was more creative and erotic. Next one, My Hero Academia. If you haven't started watching this, it's like the thing that everyone on Tumblr is, obsessed, is obsessed with. Everyone is obsessed with it. It is a superhero school show. It's right. A villain has kidnapped your favorite teacher. Oh my god. How do you use your quirk, which is the item, to save him? <laughs> We haven't really established how powerful this supervillain is. Well, maybe... <laughs> like, does it just shoot fire out of its eyes or something? Or okay, is it... well that's it. It's someone that shoots fire out of their eyes. Great. That's what we've got to avoid. Great. Okay. Well, either way, I've got a card that's going to get me out of this, so... My superpower is... Or do I want to know? Go on. My trained on. pet mouse called Peter. <laughs> <laughs> so your superpower listen. is you have a trained pet mouse. Yes, a super mouse. You two watching this could have superpowers. You could. Apparently, I release my mouse. It runs up the leg of the supervillain, 
bites him on the crotch and he falls over in pain, rescue the teacher and we all save the day. I love being bitten on the entire non-specific crotch. <laughs> That's great. Right. How powerful, is it like a full on like rat It just like a... cuts it in half. Okay, yeah. great. What about you? Well, my superpower is that I have the number for a very prompt taxi service. <laughs> At prompt. any moment what? in I life, who's I can simply make a taxi appear. Right. How do you get the teacher in the taxi if someone is firing fire out of their eyes? If someone was like, hey, I'm your Uber, you're not going to ignore that, are you? True, so. but I think I win. I mean, Peter the mouse. Oh, for God's sake, just have your freaking yes. crotch bite. Summon a taxi to hit you right now. I'll summon a mouse to bite your ears. Thanks for saying ears. Food Wars. Okay. <laughs> Another anime about school, but a cooking school. Yeah. A hungry customer is demanding more food, Ooh. but your kitchen is empty. Oh God. High stakes, people. We had violent man eating and then <laughs> teacher theft, and now an angry customer wants <laughs> more food. One of my cards is a screaming baby. I will not be using that for this one. Thank you. Phil. I've got one. Go it's on. Questionable, but I feel like it's a good well, solution. Well, if you say something is questionable, I don't trust it, Daniel. Well, you know how when you were a kid, they had those candy necklaces? Yeah. And they were really nice and like sugary, but right. it was kind of gross because you'd, you'd like yeah. nibble and people them. People like flung them at you. But then you'd class. have like your own dribble just like against it. Children are, are gross. Moisturizing. Man, you know, well, I've took it to the next level because I have a necklace of human ears. <laughs> and I say, what? look, uh, if we all used to walk around eating those as a snack when we were kids, then I will just pick off a couple of my fashionable human ears and I'll just throw them in. And someone will be like, mmm, that's very. What am I eating right now? And I'll be like, generic. Damn, that's very Meat. Hannibal Lecter. Yeah, but if I season it well enough, then I'll get that trip advice. Don't go me. full cannibal. I can beat you because, thankfully, in I your can kitchen. get out the hotel minibar and wait for it. I can get some. Oh my god, he's actually accessing our hotel. I hope this isn't one of those ones with the pressure sensor. No, he no just like charge sensor. $20. Okay, good. I can feed you my patrons. Say, hey, don't worry, dude. I have. I have some nuts. A Toblerone, a little packet of UHT milk, lovely, and some wine. Mix it all together, and it's nutty milk wine food. Jesus Christ! <laughs> and Are you okay? Okay. I feel like mine made Dan, more sense. I literally just got up okay, and went you, around the you room. You literally did exercise, yes! and now I'm gonna need this. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I love when you're playing a game with someone and it's about getting cards, and they go. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Look it up, nice. Our next one is based on our favourite show of the moment, The yes. Ancient Magus Bride. The show that made me cry three times in the first oh five episodes. Oh my gosh, episodes. Dan cried so much. But if you want to, if you want to be messed up emotionally by an anime, was it episode watch three? Ancient, don't even, the dragon don't even one. talk to me. A massive dragon <laughs> just picked you up on its back right. and flew into the sky. Mm -hmm. How do you get back down? This is what we got for encouraging scalies on our channel. Yeah, this is a okay. speed round. We are in the... Why is no, it speed No thinking, round? Why is it go speed round? I'm announcing Why it. Does Phil need to spice things up speed constantly? Round. I think it's fine. Well, I've got mine. Boom! Speed round, speed round, okay, choose, got it, choose. Got it. Right. I am 10,000 feet in the air on a dragon. Yeah. Thankfully, I have the scarf knitted by my grandma. <laughs> How is that gonna help? What am I gonna do with the scarf? Try and all the dragon. So rude. And what? And then I die? No! I don't know. no. I would simply wrap it around the dragon's neck, and because anything knitted by your grandma is so itchy and horrible, the dragon yes. would be like, ah! Uh, what, what are you doing to me right now? Just put me off and I'd be like, what the hell yeah. is that? And I'll be like, um, it was made with love. Right. Okay. Do, you, do you not accept that my grandma has been knit one purling too for like three weeks? And then just the They're like, no! It's really itchy. You need to like put some lotion on that or something, and I'll be like. And then just the dragon Rude. land and just let you off. Yeah. Fine. Well, listen to this, Materino. You are on the dragon, you're on the dragon, you reach around, and you... <laughs> you pull out... Oh, God! Pull out one of the dragon's teeth. Then, from the heavens, floats down the Tooth Fairy, who is like, oh my God, oh, a tooth! Oh. And then, you hitch a ride on the back of the Tooth you Fairy. You mount the Tooth Fairy. And then you ride her off the You do realise the that the Tooth Fairy canonically is like this big... Yeah, but she has the power of a titan. She is strong, she is thick, she can take you into the sky. Itchy scarf, my ass. I'm just gonna give that to you because I'm scared. Give me a tooth. And our final anime is Sword Art Online. Ooh, one of my faves. Where people are trapped inside an MMO where if they die in the game, 
They die in real life. Dun dun dun. Is that the dilemma? Or is something happening? No, I mean, that that's quite a dilemma. Yeah. But on top of that, you are trapped in a dungeon. Uh-oh. And you just lost your sword. How will you beat the final boss? Can I use Peter the Mouse again? Because I feel no. like that would... <laughs> no, you've used Peter the Mouse. <gasps> okay. You have lost your sword. Right. What will you whack out to save your own life oh my gosh. in this video game? Tempted by the screaming baby. I want to win. Well, I may have lost my sword. Yes. But all is not lost, as I'm a hungry little dude. So I combine two items into one and always carry with me a spork. Is that your weapon? That is my weapon. Why you deliver because you it is the enchanted spork of the blood oath, right. and I get it out, and I'm like, swing, and then it starts. The music starts going. Da, 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 da. I stab it. Right. right? And not only do I stab, but I get to scoop as well. So it's not like it's just a little stab impact. I get, I get a spork oh in, then it's like bleed. It's like, rrr, rrr, you got me. And then using the spoon, half of it, I go gouge, and yeah. I just pull out its eye, and then it dies. That was very violent. You can see that happening in the show, can't you? I, 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 I could picture it. Moment. It was, it was a good climax. But listen. This scorpion has been in the cave for a long time. This, this scorpion? Yeah. Was well, that the boss, is That's it? It's a big scorpion. Okay, we're fighting a giant scorpion. And it hasn't had any loving for a while, okay? Oh. So I whack no. out... Are we rip? My Michelangelo statue of David. Oh. Known to have a perfect butt. Everyone knows it's been carved in marble. People talk about that butt in the history books. It's got a, it's got a perfect so, everything. Yeah. So... The scorpion doesn't want to look at me anymore. He just hovers over to the statue and I'm like, haha, it's a statue. And then I pull off Michelangelo's leg and whack him around the head with it until he is a pile of scorpion mulch. You have just ruined the history of fine art. <laughs> but does it mean that I win? Oh. I think it means that you win. There yes! you go, you get. Thank wow, you. Phil killed the giant scorpion with a marble penis. I, no, no, I said leg. Well, yeah, well, that's not what everyone was saying. Well, that um, was that was bucket of doom. That was something right there. Yeah. So if that convinced you to actually watch any of those animes, then go to crunchyroll.com forward slash Dan and Phil games. Check it out. Use um, the free trial. I promise that what happens in the shows is mostly better and less disturbing than what we discussed. Just about. So give us a thumbs up if you enjoyed this. Check out our channels Enjoy below. This. Give I'm us a subscribe you. and make sure to look out to your mouse called Peter because he could save you in a big anime dilemma. Bye. Bye.